What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Ark Valgero. Now, last time we left off, we took on the heckin' Fire Colossus. That was the third out of the fourth tier six boss we had to take on before we could finally take on the tier seven boss. So, this episode, we're going to be finally taking on the final one. The Caustic Colossus. Took me about as much time as it did uh, last time to, to prepare for this, this Fire Colossus. You know, get all the, the Spirit Orbs, get all the Kibble, get all the eggs. All that kind of stuff. Defeat the tier 5 bosses all over again. Had to defeat both of those. I had to get the spawner, do Mickey's in, kill both of them, use the Thorn Dragon for both of them just because it made it a lot easier. Especially for uh, PyCon. I hadn't. <laughs> I tried to do it with uh, the uh, the Nova to the Destroyer, and uh, yeah, I didn't have too much luck, especially whenever that thing uh, was doing like some sort of sun effect. It was doing an insane amount of damage to me. Like, not even just Nova the Destroyer, but to me and myself, so that kind of sucked. But, you know, defeating both of them, we finally have the uh, the, the, the Creator Soul, the Destroyer Soul, of course the artifacts that we need, uh, Origin Blood, we have tons of those, because I had to kill uh, Origin Creatures just to get the Tier 4 uh, uh, Tribute in the first place, I had to kill both of these here, so yeah, Origin Blood isn't that big of a deal. Uh, Spirit Orb, I needed a bunch of Kibble to get a, a bunch of eggs to get a bunch of Kibble to get all the Spirit Orb, and of course, Chaos Orb, and then of course, Caustic Feather. You guys saw last episode, uh, wasn't really too hard, I had to kill like, I don't know, like three or four more, uh, Dark Griffins or whatever. For some reason, I thought I, I, I thought I was only missing like 30 or something like that, Feathers, and then I came over here and I was missing like 50, so I don't know what happened to that. Maybe some, something I was crafting required some, uh, Caustic Feathers, and that kind of ate into it without me noticing, but either way, we finally have everything we need to get this final heckin' Colossus summon made, so there we go, boom. It's, it's, it's being made right now, that's good. Now, what are we going to be to taking on that thing with? Are we going to be using Nova the Destroyer, or are we going to be using the Thorny Dragon? I don't know. Seems like we had the most luck with Nova so far. And of course, remember, once we finally defeat this thing, I'm going to have to get Chaos Orb all over again. We have to kill the Tier 5 bosses all over again. Get the Creator Soul, the Destroyer Soul, uh, four artifacts. I should have that, and of course, the Origin Blood, and then there's the Spirit Orb down there as well. So we're going to have to do that between episodes once again, and then this is going to be the final boss. Tier 7, Pycon's Revenge. We're going to be against like the King Titan or whatever this thing is right here. Is that the Forest Titan? I can't really tell from that little picture right there. I think uh, you guys commented this is supposed to be the King Titan. Uh, I, I don't know, it's been like multiple years since I played uh, Extinction and of course defeated the King Titan, so uh, who knows? This one just kind of looks like the Forest Titan, I don't know. And I don't think we took on the uh, the Forest Titan yet in all these like tier bosses or anything like that, so that would, that, that would definitely make sense. But either way, Caustic Colossus, boss summon. Uh, I do believe, let's see, where it, there it is right there. I think I think I need to go back to my Thorny Dragon and get the, uh, the, health, the, the health stuff. Because I think I took it out of this. Yeah, I took it out of this guy's inventory to put it on my Thorn and Drag just in case I needed that going up against Pycon and all of them. So, yeah, I forgot to bring it back. But once we grab the uh, the health potions and all that kind of stuff, he's going to be able to heal himself up once he's under, like, what, 15% health or something like that? I forget. I forget how he does it automatically. Does it say here or I have to pull up that page? Yeah, it just says restores down. I don't, I don't know how often he does it automatically but of course i can just manually feed it to him as well and that'll uh heal up a pretty good amount of his health and of course i could do the uh, the same thing with the primal health potion every second it heals 20 percent of your health for an entire minute yeah that sounds like good to me right so i don't think we need to re re really worry uh, too much about that golly it's been who knows how long since i recorded like last episode or whatever still can't even speak proper english <laughs> anyways Let's go over here. Let's make it back with the save. You guys already know the deal by now. Who knows? This might be another like 10, 13 minute video or something stupid here. It was ours going to be a 50 minute video. Who knows? We might fail hardcore. I don't know what to expect here with the caustic colossus save world. There you go. Uh, there you go. Let's make it back with that. So who knows? It's, I, I just expect it's probably going to be a, a bunch of damage over time. Poison type effect. Uh, might want to keep our distance just like every other time we take it on a boss just like this. So there you go. Caustic colossus. Oh, jeez, there he is right there. Hold on. Do that, and let's do this. That's going to be doing an insane amount of damage. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of such, uh-oh, uh-oh, get the heck away. Oh, my God, there's a bunch of minions around here. Hopefully, we can kill all the minions. I'm trying my best. Seems like we're hitting them there with our melee. That's good. That's good. Let's even go up this as the frame rate is just tanking right now. Oh, jeez. That was a hardcore uh, frame rate dippage right there. Now, he's outside our end range. I don't know how much health he has. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, there he is. Oh, oh, 8.2 billion, yeah. Man. Oh, why'd it explode like so prematurely there? Oh my gosh, look at his health just draining there. Oh my gosh. And we just did some sort of effect there as well. 
Whoa, what's that on the top? Acid. Your torpor is rising. What? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on. No, 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 man. I was trying to pull up my inventory and take a stimulant. I know we have a ton of stimulants. Oh, my gosh. Is this guy? Uh, I don't know what he's doing. My guy's not... He set the pass of our, our stuff, and I think... I'm getting killed over here now by his minions. No! Oh, my gosh. Man, I probably should have figured that out. Caustic and, and, and doing torpidity and whatnot, yeah. Probably should have been able to figure that out. I completely forgot about that. Man. Ah, all right. Well, that's a pretty simple thing to prepare for. Just have to have, uh, like, primal stimulus easily accessible. Might want to put those in my hot bar and, of course, in my Nova the Destroyer's inventory. Although, I don't know how much torpidity he has, so... He probably just has so much, I don't even have to worry about him, like, getting knocked out or anything like that. Uh, if he even has torpidity in the first place, I don't even remember. Either way, let me reload that save. Thankfully, I took that save right before I, uh, before that battle there, so I don't have to, like, redo all this stuff again. <laughs> just save me time and stuff like that, right? So let me reload that save, and we can do a round two here, and hopefully we have better luck being a little bit more prepared with some primal stimulants at the ready. So, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. You guys are back, just loaded back in right there, so... Yeah, let, let's go over here. Oh, I didn't put the uh, the health in his inventory right there. Whoops. Uh, I I, I guess I would have figured that out eventually, right? If he's getting low on health and whatnot. But he has so much I can armor rating and stuff like that. I don't, even, I don't even really need to worry about that too much. Except for, of course, last episode when we were taking on the Fire Colossus. And he almost had to die. Now, do we have... Uh, oh, man, I only have... St oh, man. I think I put the stimulants in someone else's inventory and never brought them back to mine. Man. Ah. All right, let, let, let me go grab those. It's, it's kind of an important thing, you know, stimulus. We need to make sure you're awake and whatnot. If I want to keep those at least in my inventory. Uh, just, see, I, I, I probably should have looked at the footage there to see if Nova the Destroyer himself was actually taking any uh, torpidity and whatnot. Oh, yeah, does he even have torpidity? Yeah, he does. He just has an insane amount of it. What is that, 4 million? Almost 5 million? 4.6 million right there? Yeah, that's a heck ton. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll put some in his inventory just in case, but... I'm like, a, the main thing I need this for is my inventory, you know, just to make sure I don't get knocked out. Just like what happened just a minute ago. I'm actually kind of surprised how long we lasted there. Uh, those are potent narcotics. Where did I put it? Did I just, oh, I think I might have actually just straight up put it in storage or something like that. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure I kept it specifically in that, that folder to make sure I didn't put it in storage, you know? Eh, whatever. We have tons over here anyway. Yeah, the white one, the the blue and white one right there. Yeah, Primal Stimulant right there. We have tons of those, so yeah, let, let me keep at least one in my inventory. Uh, there you go. And you know what? We need in the hot bar, so let's put that there. We're not going to be using the, uh, the Lonic Rifle, like, <coughs> at all. So, just put that up, I suppose, huh? And let's go back. Let's go get, uh, Nova the Destroyer. Go give him another stack of Primal Stimulants, a hundred of them or something like that. And, like, we can put them next to the health things, make it a little bit easier if we need to heal them up and stuff like that. But I don't, uh, I don't think we need to... What in the world? I was, like, inside of them right there. What? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, there you go. We have another hundred. Yeah, so we can put that next to all the health. That's, like, right here. Boom. Uh, and if we ever need to heal them up or, uh, you know, give, give them some stimulus, make sure we don't get knocked out or anything like that. And uh, we could easily just give it to him right there. But if I'm almost about to get knocked out, we just need to hit eight on the keyboard. That's going to keep me nice and awake and make sure I don't get heckin' knocked out by this caustic colossus. So, anyways, let me get rid of these guys. We already cleaned out the area here a long time ago, actually, because that one attack that like cuts down all the trees. So I don't need to worry about that too much now. I uh, don't even need to charge this guy up or anything like that. So, uh, oh, 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 hold on. Now that we have, no, not slow mo. Save world. Now that we have all the these supplies here, I'm going to make another backup just so I get a. If we, if we die again, I can just load up this save right here. Save is like two and a half minutes, three minutes, or something like that. Open up our inventory, summoning the Colossus boss, boom. Okay, so there you go. We can do this. That's going to be doing an insane amount of damage to him. And of course, oh yeah, look at all those 1.2 millions right there. Yeah, I remember, uh, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a lot going on right now, hold on. I'm trying to kill all the minions here. Let me just eat some stimulants. Oh man, my food is just dropping like a heckin' rock. So I'm trying to eat some food. Ah oh, man, there's some fire behind me too, what? Why there's so many hold on? Why am I not able to hit those heckin' creatures right there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, come on! Kill the creatures behind me! Man, how much health do they have? Seems like they're dying there, which is good, but I can't move! Ah, it's because I've been like... No, I'm not, I'm not... Cocooned right like that. Oh, I just got a clown skin right there. <laughs> Loki calling me a clown there, game. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're, we're still doing decent on Torpidity, I can see right there. I'm going to take another one right there. We have a 30 second, uh... Oh, I guess I never even took one, did I? Oh, whoa, 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 he's doing something. Yeah, we're, like, not able to move at all. What in the... 
There's something right there doing insane. Oh, it's a buffoon guy right there. Cost Cost Colossus going right now. Oh, now we got all these minions to look out for again. Come on, kill them all with melee. Oh my gosh. Thankfully, they're not dismounting me, which is good. We're still doing... Oh, never mind! Oh, I wasn't even looking at my torpidity. Ah, oh, I was so distracted by all the heckin' minions there. Ah, I'm going to get killed here. Man. Yeah, see, I, I didn't send her to aggressive mode or anything like that either, so I'm just going to, I'm just a sitting duck here waiting to die, but look at this! Taking basically no damage from all these things right here. Oh wait, no, my torpedo's actually dropping right now. Hold on. There's Nova. Where's the, uh... What, what is his name? The, the Colossus guy. I don't know where he is right now, but his minions despawned. He must be outside of render range or something. I was getting ready to just, just quit right there, you know, just die and then reload the save and all that kind of stuff, but... We're about to wake up here in like 10, 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds or something. Maybe even less, like five seconds. Look at that. Holy heck. Well, let's just wait here. Our food is dropping. Need to immediately start eating a bunch of food. Take it a stimulant as well, because that's going to help us out quite a bit. Like our, our, our uh, torpidities, we're going to be like torpidity resistant, I guess you could say, for a little while. So anyways, let me dismount. Let me send them to aggressive mode. There you go. Oh, the yeah, CO's outside our end range. Yeah, aggressive mode. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's do this. There you go. Get that going. It's going to hopefully be doing a lot of damage to him. There you go, 2.3 million damage. That huge attack right there is going to be doing an insane amount. Look at his health on the bottom left dropping right there. You like a heckin' rock. Well, it went down like 400, 500. Oh, wait, he's outside of range. That's why. Oh, my gosh. These heckin' explosions are insane. Let's see. I can't see a thing. Everything's purple. <laughs> Hold on, let's do this. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. All the minions are back. Let's see if I can do this to kill all the minions. Nope. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get dismounted again. Okay, my torpedo is doing well. I'm going to take another one here. Oh wait, Costa Colossus has been defeated. He just, you saw he just like fell straight down to heck. The devil himself grabbed onto the Costa Colossus and said, hey, you're too toxic, Hater. Let me drag you down to where you belong so you can burn in heck. And that's where he is right now. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because the, uh, the fire one last episode. Oh no! Oh my gosh, I literally just took a primal stimulant a minute ago. Not even that long, you know, like 20 seconds ago. Ah, um, well, at least our, our, our torpedo is dropping right now, which is good, but how did we survive that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised because I thought I would have died the first time I got knocked out. All of his minions, like, despawned or got killed or something. I don't know. But either way, we're about to wake up here in just a sec, so, uh... Oh, there you go, right there, nice. So there you go. We defeated every Colossus right there, every tier 6 boss, right? We got everything. Yep, we got it right there, the Caustic Colossus Medallion, and a bunch of other random trash I'm probably just going to put up in storage, never really used, to be quite honest. <laughs> and of course, a bunch of other stuff over here. Bunch of blueprints, a few feathers right there, must have killed some sort of, uh, uh, like a dark griffin or something like that, and got a bunch of, like, a big variety of feathers, just like I showed you guys last episode, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I think we're around, like, the 13-minute mark right now or something, so... <sighs> I know a couple of you guys were like, yeah, it was a super duper short episode last episode. It was the shortest episode of the series thus far or something like that. So I, I guess we're going to have two of them back to back, but that's kind of a good thing. Because I don't want to have a bunch of random trash just kind of padding an episode, having more uh, trash that you guys don't need to see that I've already shown you guys before. You know, just repetitive footage I don't think is really entertaining or fun to watch or anything like that. Especially not, not fun for me to do, you know, constantly grinding, you know, literally grinding, getting materials, constantly repeating the same stuff over and over again. It's not fun for me, it's not fun for you guys to watch. That's why I don't record, that's why I'm even showing in the footage. But, next episode, seems like there's going to be a little bit less grinding than I had to do this. Ah, you know what? This is probably going to be about the same grinding I had to do for the last, like, two episodes or something like that, to be quite honest, because I have to kill the tier five bosses all over again. And then, I think, I think, I think I, I have a lot of kibble because I, I literally, like, two days ago, I literally went to Amazon to buy this, like, weight. It's like a 50 gram weight that you could put on a key and just walk away and the key would be, like, pressed down constantly until you take it off. And what I did was I, I got that weight and then I put it on the E key while I was over here with my Tyranodon. And what was happening was, you know, me constantly hitting E, even though I wasn't here, it was the, the weight on the thing. Constantly hitting E was constantly force feeding it over here. So what I did was like for an hour straight with like slow-mo five or something like that. I had this weight on the E key. I have it right there right now. You guys can't see it because I don't have a keyboard cam, but it's just constantly feeding it stem berries. 
and of course causing it to poop every now and then uh, a lot more frequently than it would naturally and of course like there's like a five percent chance or something like that every time it poops there's going to be an unfertilized egg and of course i needed a ton oh yep there's a poop right there i heard of course uh, i did need a ton of fabled eggs and stuff like that for all the heck and kibbles and stuff like that so that's that's a really cool thing i, I just kind of want to let you guys know behind the scenes that that kind of made it a little bit more bearable in terms of the uh the off-camera grinding and whatnot because i could literally just put the little weight on my keyboard and just walk away <laughs> as long as nothing attacked my base i did get my base attacked like one or two times but nothing too major nothing got actually through the walls or anything like that i saw it in the corner of my eyes i was taking like seven thousand damage or something like that over there and i was like oh man what's that I'm, i need to stop and need to go kill that thing and then get back to putting this weight on my keyboard so it constantly force feeds the on <laughs> while i'm not even there so that, that, that's a cool fun little thing i kind of want to let you guys know about but let's look at how how we're doing progress wise over here uh, for the tier 7 boss. What are we missing? Chaos Orb, okay. Creator Soul, Destroyer Soul. <laughs> it's going to be the hardest part, honestly. Like, I'm going to heck and... The tier uh, tier 5 bosses. all... Yeah, look at that. Chaos Orb, Spirit Orb, again. And then Demonic Emperor... Oh, my gosh. Demonic... I need to get the tier 4 bosses all over again, right? No, the tier 3, right? Where are they at? There they are, right there. Ah. Uh, man. This is what I'm talking about. There's just so... You have to... Like, so many things you have to do. I need to kill both of these guys twice in order to get the, uh, the, the right stuff for this, right? Uh, Demonic Emperor's Soul... Yeah, d and then Celestial Emperor's Soul, yeah, it does require both of them, just need to make sure they're there, so I need to kill both of these guys twice again. Thankfully, those ones do spawn randomly around the map. Then, of course, once I kill all these guys again, it's going to be decently smooth sailing, and all I have to re really worry about from that point is just orbs and whatnot, which is kind of weird. I don't know. How many do I need? Two? Yeah, see, this is where I need the kibbles, so... Kibble, I need to get the Celestial Kibble, I need to get, I don't know, like, four? Yeah, see, there you go, I can make four of those. Now, can I make, uh, seven, and then I can only do one craft of this, okay. So I have a few Celestial Kibbles, one Demonic Kibble on the way there, so I'm gonna make a little bit of progress there, but, you know, just, just giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of what happens off camera. These last few episodes of me just constantly doing behind-the-scenes grinding and work and stuff like that, so we can have an episode of me just coming back and immediately taking on a Colossus, just like we did the last couple episodes here, so... Uh, hopefully you guys appreciate that, but and, and and hopefully you guys understand why these episodes are so short recently. You know, just so I can uh, get get to the action a little bit quicker, I guess you could say. So, either way, speaking of short short episodes, I guess I'll end it off right here. I might as well keep this in my inventory though, just so I don't forget about it like we did earlier this episode, right? But yeah, uh, I guess I'll end off the episode right here, and then we can look forward to next episode where we're going to have the tier seven boss ready to go, lined up, ready to be spawned in. Now, how are we going to take that guy on? Am I going to use Nova the Destroyer again? Seems like a super reliable critter. Like, does a lot of health. Doesn't really have that much, uh, or does a lot of damage. Doesn't really have that much health itself, but it has really good armor rating. And then, of course, uh, the damage output is just insane. Like, and, and he moves pretty fast as well. He doesn't fly, but for a ground-type critter, he actually moves decently fast. He's decently agile in that regard. Now, how much health do I think the Tier 7 boss is going to have? If, if we had Tier 5 that had, like, 4 or 5 billion... Tier 6, I had like 10, 11, 12, 13 billion. I'm kind of thinking like maybe 20, 25 billion for Tier 7, if not like 50 billion or 100 billion randomly, or a, or a trillion. Who, who knows? Maybe they'll just casually give them a trillion health just because they can, okay? <laughs> I don't know what to look forward to next episode, but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode comes out. Because like you guys just saw right there, next episode, the final boss. Uh, possibly the final episode of Arctic Valgaro. I don't know. We're, I might I might have like one or two episodes of us just like doing some other random stuff if I get some comments suggesting some stuff. Oh, God. What happened now? Oh, he's set to heckin' aggressive. That's why something was over here. Like, just in general, and then he was like, Oh, I'm set to aggressive. If there's anything near me, I need to attack it. And that's what happened right there. <laughs> yeah, let me set him to passive mode. There you go. I'm glad I set him to aggressive during the battle, though. You know, just in case uh, I got knocked out, he's able to defend me. But that didn't happen after that, so that sucks. Anyways, passive mode. There you go. Where was I in my outro? Did I tell you guys about the, 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 the bell? You guys already know that, about that. Yeah. Uh, if you guys ring the bell, YouTube will let you know as soon as the uh, next episode comes out. Because it might be the last one, we might do some more stuff, who knows. But it's going to be the tier 7 boss, the highest tier boss for Primal Fear that we know of, at least for right now. So you guys definitely don't- oh my god, he's set to follow me too. Whoops. 
<laughs> but you guys already know the deals. It's a pretty crazy episode. Next episode, you, so you guys don't want to miss out on that, okay? Like, I'm getting super distracted over here, getting to do my outro. You guys probably heard it like 50 times already, so you guys probably like sing along with me while I'm doing it or whatever, right? So, anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Ark Valgero. Oh, bye there. <laughs>